the tendency is to look to existing structures for leadership. And it's only when existing structures don't resolve the, the questions that need to, begin, need to be resolved that we begin to create new concepts of leadership. And we're in the stage of creating new concepts of leadership now. We've watched a lot of changes take place in the concept of leadership over the last period. I had no idea how important Martin Luther King was when I was in the 60s. And it's only as violence in our neighborhoods began to increase that I began to think, listen differently to, to King. And I particularly, I read his speeches and I thought about how he said that what our young people need are opportunities to transform themselves and transform their communities at the same time. And I saw that he had a concept of two-sided transformation that we hadn't had in society up to then. Up to then, we had thought it was only those on the other side who needed to be overthrown. And we didn't realize that when we split the atom and we dropped the bombs on Nagasaki and Hiroshima, that we'd become the enemy. That we also needed transformation. And that's a huge leap forward. Our understanding tends to create boxes. And those boxes tend to trap us. Whereas reason is able to see the positive in the negative. How we think, our philosophies matter a lot.